Hey guys, Bob Light here. Taking a look at Bitwig Studio, the newest version, I believe it's 4.1, and using a couple new devices and functionality here that I wanted to show off that are actually really sweet and help solidify why I love Bitwig so much and think it's such a good doc. So first thing I'm looking at is the multi-note device here. So at the beginning of my change, that has gotten a little bit of a facelift. And for people who don't know, multi-note is basically um, lets you build chords with a single note. So if I press a C1, for example, help if I turn my MIDI controller on. <laughs> if I press a C2 or C3, it'll play a full chord. And that chord is built based on the settings in here. So I'm saying, hey, for the first note, use the root note. For the next note, uh, go up plus 15. Is it semitones, tones, I don't know, whatever it is. And you can build these chords out. So what's new here is they have added these chance parameters uh, to the individual notes in that chord, which is kind of cool. Basically what this lets you do is set the chance that that individual note in the chord will play. And so you can get a lot of variance uh, in your, your music when you lay down a bunch of chords and you have different chance parameters on here. So I believe this is a minor nine chord and I have a chance, 47% uh, chance on this last note here. So there's a 47% chance that note will play every time it cycles which means sometimes it will get left out, which kind of automatically changes the groove of the song, right? You're gonna get some chords uh, that are not minor nines, they're minor sevens, I guess. So that's a really cool piece of functionality within there. And then we also have this spread percentage as well, which lets you dynamically alter the velocity of the individual notes within that chord. So for things like electric pianos, it's quite fantastic um, because you'll get a more realistic performance uh, when you play back your song. Right? So that's pretty cool. So our notes are being varied a little bit. And then in addition, and actually let me expand this a little. You'll see I just have two, uh, two chords playing in this clip. If I hit play, it'll show you the notes that are playing. So you'll see the yellow lights light up and you saw on the bottom most note, it actually didn't trigger on the first playthrough. So if we just let this run, it'll kind of cycle through different velocities and notes. Really cool stuff, um, amazing, amazing device. Next thing I want to look at was the strum note effects device here, which does exactly what it talks about, is it will strum your chords. So you can chuck this in after the multi-note, and that's how we're getting that strumming action on here. So if I solo the piano and I turn strum off, Really cool stuff. So huge difference in the song by being able to strum and then you can do things like alter uh, the rate of the strum. So if I drag this up, it'll be really slow. If I go all the way down, it'll be fast. Cool. And then if I come down here, I also have steps that I can enable in here. So I can go up to four steps and that is saying each uh, cycle or note hit specifically, it will do an up or a down strum. So if I have two steps and I'll start with an up and then go to a down, this is what you get. Pretty fucking awesome.
Uh, this is such a cool little tool here. And then with all these devices in Bitwig, if you right click and go show to item help, it gives you this nice screen that actually reflects the parameters of the device. So I can play and make changes in here. I can go up to the stride here, so number of notes that are strummed at a time. Then, because this is Bitwig, I can modulate any of these parameters to introduce even more randomness. So I could add a random modulator here, and maybe I bring the stride down, and I can do a few things. I can modulate the step times, so I can have strum up or strum down. Those will be modulated randomly. I can modulate the time. That's it, folks. Bitwig Studio. It's amazing. Go pick you up a copy. It's on sale for Black Friday. Peace out.